Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to episode 9 of my 6x6x6 six 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 paper pad series. So I'm using the um, an older collection by Chamel. Uh, this is Little by Little and um, this came out I think it was two years ago and just want to get into my stash and try and get it used. So I'm just flicking through the 6x6 six six paper pad and I'm just looking for some papers that I want to use. Now this photo, uh, these photographs are from a day out um, at a place called Beale Park um, and it has a lot of birds there and a few animals and stuff so I did go with the owl paper, they do have owls there and I went with a camera paper and I went with a feather paper for that very reason. So I've cut my photographs already down to two and a half by two and a half inches. And I'm just doing the same again with these papers. Um, now off camera I do go and get some, um, some more pattern papers from the same paper pad. Um, but just because I want a few more that are uh, basic patterns rather than the busier ones that I've got on there at the moment. So I'm going to start laying out my photographs and the pattern paper squares and there's no rhyme or reason as to where I'm laying these. I am trying to make sure that the photographs are as split as possible. So this is a multi-photo layout and I wasn't too sure on how um, this was going to look in the end but um, I sort of lay it, uh, lay it all down and um, just commit by sticking it down. A few of these pattern papers and photographs end up in um, a slightly different position I think than what I've just had it a second ago but it all ends up in a place that I'm happy with and there we are that's all stuck down so I'm just going to trim off the corners here from the overhang and that's it and then um, yeah this is how my layout is going to look so obviously the photographs are uh, a, a an angle and that is the whole design of this layout. Um, they will be at an angle along with the pattern papers. And I'm now going to come in with the embellishments. So I'm going to look at the sticker sheet first. You can see this is a, a well-loved sticker sheet. And I spotted the, the little trees that I hadn't used so far. And I was going to use both of them, but... Only one of them actually makes it. So my embellishing is going to be the right way up, as it were. Um, I do make a bit of a, an error with um, another sticker that you'll see very shortly. But I have gone back and I have um, moved it around on, on my layout. And um, if you want to see the final um, pictures, then um, do head over to Instagram. My link is in the comments down below. I do upload all of my layouts to Instagram, so if you want to check back on uh, what I've created for inspiration, then yeah, do head over to Instagram and, and give me a follow on there too. So I'm just working through the pieces of, of ephemera that I've got left. I've pulled out those feathers and I've also pulled out um, that little tag that says make your life a work of art. I haven't committed to anything yet. I'm not too sure on where, which which space it's actually going in. So because I've had these um, foam thickers for a while, they do start to um, become sort of attached to the backing sheet. So that's an incentive for me to get those used up because I don't want those going to waste. So I'll be working on this collection, I think, um, further over the coming months so I'm just trialing these feathers to see where they're going to work they are going to work best on that yellow paper and so I move up that work of art piece of ephemera now I'm going to come in with the wood veneers and I wanted a pop of black so I'm going to use that one that's got the at symbol um, I might come in and put at Beale Park I might add that in that was a thought and then I forgot to do it in the um, in the video so these puffy stickers, I have no idea how I've ended up with three packs of these puffy stickers. Um, I need to get them used. So because it is a wildlife park, then um, I added on the these four little animals. Um, that title is going to move shortly, but I'm just using the word lovely from the thickers pack, the word thicker pack from the actual collection. And then I'm just bringing in these black alphas that... 
just to make up the rest of the title on here and as I said this is going to move I'm going to put my title on an angle just like the layout and I'm not going to subject you to watching that at all and here we are I'm just messing around with them now just getting them into position where I'm happy with them and then on to um, before the enamel dots um, I've got to stick all these bits and bobs down first so with regards to those wood buttons, I do peel off the foam backing. I do find them quite dimensional if you've got the wood button and that foam backing on. So I do pull that foam backing off and I add on glossy accents. I always find that's the best glue to help these wood buttons stick. And as always, the glossy accents is clogged up. So I'm just going to add that on to um, over that tree sticker and I'm going to add this purple one onto the bottom of that piece of ephemera. I'm going to come in with some double sided tape just to stick those um, pieces of ephemera down, those and also the feathers. I want the feathers to try and sit together like I've got them so I'm just going to pop the double sided tape down onto the uh, backing paper and then I'll add my tape in around it. And then I'm just going to bring in the sticker book and this is well loved as well and I've been dying to use that bare sticker um, and this is going to be the most perfect layout um, for, for me to use it. So you'll see what I do here, I end up putting the sticker sideways. Um, yeah, I've just got a fuzzy brain, I think, um, so I'm not too sure why I did that, but I have corrected it. I've pulled it up and switched it around. Um, I also put the journaling spot sideways as well, and I do add the journaling in um, after I've finished filming. And then I'm just going to add in a few tiny word stickers to complete my layout, and I add some glossy accents to the back of those as well to help those stay stuck. So I hope you've enjoyed episode nine of um, my six by six by six paper pad series. Stay tuned for, um, there's a special video coming up this weekend that's not a six by six layout, um, but it's a bonus video. And um, I'll also see you back here on Monday for episode 10. So we're halfway through now. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for joining me. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.